irreversible first fissure is membrane is damaged there are large amorphous density so these two are characteristic in the mitochondria in the mitochondria okay and then there is pycnosis nucleus becomes like a dot so can i say this is marked chromatin condensation so whenever they give you a term marked chromatin condensation you have to remember this is for irreversible cell injury and then there is karyorexis that is fragmentation of the nucleus and then there is karyolysis that is the nucleus completely dissolutes so these are classical features of the irreversible cell injury you should be very very clear of course do not forget myelin figures so myelin figures are predominantly seen in irreversible but can be seen in reversible also so they can be seen in both okay so these are the characteristic differences between the reversible and irreversible cell injury and now the irreversible cell injury is actually progressing into necrosis so let's study about necrosis what happens in necrosis let's see about it right so before we go into uh, necrosis guys um, let's see some images that can be asked in this so look at this so in this this is the normal cell which should show you microvilli so if there is loss of microvilli so there is nothing here and but there is formation of blebs here so once you see these these are formation of blebs here okay so formation of blebs is a very characteristic feature of reversible injury so these are nothing but dust particles ignore them but otherwise the characteristic feature is there is no microvilli there is bleb formation this is reversible cell injury Second electron microscopy that you should, you should be clear is this. These are very typical how the cristae of the mitochondria appears. And he look at here here complete mitochondria has become like a balloon. It is distended, but there are no amorphous densities. So distension of the mitochondria is classical feature of reversible. If there are large amorphous densities, then it is irreversible. So look at the microscopy here. The cells have become distended and they become very clearer because this is what is called hydropic change. This is because of more water coming into the cell. That is what is called as hydropic change. That you should be very clear. And this is the electron microscopy of myelin figure. So they are nothing but phospholipid whorls. So they appear like as if somebody has cut the tree. So these are phospholipid whorls that are very typical here. Okay. So these are myelin figures. Remember, myelin figures are predominantly seen in irreversible injury, but some of them can even be seen in reversible. So you should be super clear with this. And this is what is a normal cell. Then pycnosis is like a dot. Karyorexis is fragmentation, and karyolysis is complete dissolution. So that is what you have to know. So these are the images that you should know before we go to necrosis. Now, once we are clear with these images, now we can progress into necrosis and understand what all we need to know about it. Right, guys? Irreversible.